What a freaking beautiful spring morning we've got. It's about 7.30, got the kayak loaded up, and we're gonna go try out a different lake. I have never fished this lake before, so we're gonna give it a go and hopefully catch some crappies. I think it might be a little better than the lake we fished yesterday, but um, only time will tell. I know for a fact there's some brush piles out there because I went out and did some squirrel hunting with Adam and saw them on the lake. So that means one thing for me. We're gonna go find those brush piles and jig for some crappies. I'm really curious about the water temp and how active these fish are gonna be and if there's any decent sized ones. I know some of these state lakes, they just have little tiny crappies. So it is what it is. We'll try it out and spend a good morning out there and hopefully we can get a couple of fish on the stringer and do a catch and cook and bring home some lunch. But I'm excited. It's early. It's a nice, peaceful, quiet morning. So let's stop wasting time and get out on the water. Here we go, we got everything all put up here and we're ready to rock. I wanna take a second to touch on the gear that I use on my kayak. So right here I've got a Garmin Striker 4 with a Yak Attack Switchblade transduce, Transducer Arm and uh, a Garmin Striker 4 Yak Attack Mount. They kind of work really well together and they fit inside the gear track mount on the boat. Pedals, this has got a nice little pocket in here for me to keep some stuff in, keep some baits and stuff, quick and easy to find those. Moving back, I've got a milk crate that I keep all my stuff in, keeps it a little more contained than rolling around everywhere, and a couple of rod holders. What I brought with me today, I've got my typical ultralight rod, but I also brought this guy, this is a seven foot medium light action, so I'm going to try and do some dipping in the brush piles. Instead of casting with that ultralight, this has got a little tougher line on it, so if I get snagged, it doesn't break off right away. I think it's time to get on the water. Let's we'll see if we can find some fish today. Okay, found the brush pile here. Let's see. Looks like we got fish down about nine feet. So, seven, eight, There we go. Hey, let's go. We got a crappie. Okay, well, I think I found them. They're on this brush pile. Nice little crappie there. See you, buddy. Let's catch some more. Okay, so I was down about 10 feet. That's about 10 feet or so. I think this works. This is way better than the last lake I was fishing yesterday. That's for sure. Yeah, came off my spot a little bit. I need to get one of those buoys. There we go. Little black crappie. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Not the biggest guy in the world, but I'll take it. Two crappies. I think I'm dialing in here. This is a decent sized brush pile, it looks like. So that's a plus. Um, I marked it on my GPS here on my Garmin. So. I think if I can get the hook out, holy crap. There we go. Little black crappie there. That one is going back. Okay, now we coasted off here. So, 
Water temp is 57, and I'm catching them about 10 feet down using a seven foot rod, so I'm measuring out. Let it fall. Got a really light weight on here, so it takes a while for it to fall down. So there's seven, there's eight, nine, and 10. So there we go. Gotta move out just a little bit. That's a fish. There we go. A little, a little small crappie. Oh shit, they are just engulfing this thing. Here's the bait I'm using. I'm just using a little black and chartreuse tube bait. So, seems to be doing the trick. 10 feet. What I'm basically doing is I'm just dropping it down to 10 feet and letting the bait sit. I'll jiggle it a little bit, but um, I'm just basically putting the bait right in front of their faces and then entices them to bite. I did some research last night. I'm figuring this out and uh, found a nice brush pile and found the fish on the brush pile and bada bing bada boom, we're catching fish. There's a fish. There we go. I'm reeling up too far. Oh. I'm having problems here. And you guys know what this means. We're gonna do a catch and cook today. Just because we're gonna take a couple of them. I don't need a whole heck of a lot. Just something to make some lunch. Some crappy lunch. Went a little while without a bite there. I was kind of getting a little concerned. There we go, that's a nice fish. I was just kind of trolling through. Simmer down, old boy. There we go, okay. So I kind of switched up a little bit and I threw on another jig. So I put a red and white one on and then I'm keeping the trusty dusty black and chartreuse on the bottom. So hopefully two hooks in the water is better than one. But yeah, we'll keep that guy. Little crappy nugget off that guy. There's another one. I need to get this whole like not reeling up thing down. Okay. That's a nice one. I think we're on them now. Sweet. Another one for the frying pan. Ooh, three copies on the I think we're on a little bit of a hot streak right now, so I don't want to talk too long, but we got quite a few fish on the stringer now, and things are going pretty good. I think I'm figuring this out. I'm trying out the old tandem rig, two jigs on one rod and there's definitely fish on this brush pile. So we'll keep fishing it. It's been about an hour or so, and uh, we got five crappies in the bag. It's going pretty good. So, um, yeah, let's just keep fishing. I want to keep catching them. Let's go. Here we go. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, another good, good size crappie here. I think I might change up my tactic because the past three I've caught, I've been kind of just trolling and jigging. So I think that might be the name of the game. Oh yeah. I saw them all down there on that down scan. Catching some crappies. Ooh, that's a good one. At least it feels like it. <laughs> hey, 
Hey. We're having some pretty decent success today, and I'm really happy about that. After yesterday, not catching jack squat, really, except for a couple bass and snagged crappie. I think we're finally kind of getting the hang of this here and dialing in. It's almost like a game for me, and that's what makes it fun. Is You can find them on the down scan, but then you got to get the bait right at the right level to be able to catch them. So... I'm really enjoying this crappie fishing deal. There we go. Another one. Haven't found any big ones yet. They're all about that same size, so. I honestly didn't no, I had a fish. I was just jigging and it hit him. We're catching the snot out of him over here. This is awesome. Chartreuse is the color. I have some good news and some bad news. Good news is I've got one, two, three, four, five crappies on the stringer here. So there's gonna be some lunch. But the bad news is my SD card on my camera is full, the GoPro. So I'm going to keep fishing for a little while longer just to kick back, relax, enjoy some crappie fishing, get the hang of it a little better. And then uh, I'll update you guys frequently with whatever's happening. But no big ones yet. I think they're all pretty much the same size, you know, about 10, 11 inches. And the big ones might be out deep still. 57 degrees water temperature and uh, all the little ones are on that brush pile, but I don't know. I might also scoot around the lake while I got the time here to see if I can find some other brush piles that might be worth a crap, but got lucky here. Found this one and caught some fish on it and didn't want to leave, so uh, you know, don't leave fish to find fish. All in all, I'm super stoked with today. Way better than yesterday. This lake is a lot better. There's still some people here, but it's not as busy as that lake I was on yesterday was. But a lot of people camping, enjoying the outdoors while they can't go to work, so right there with them. And we're catching crappies. But we'll give it another couple of hours here, just putts around, see if I can catch some more fish. And we'll head back to the house and make some lunch. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Um, I found some new brush piles and they've been working out pretty good. I've been doing some culling, catching some bigger ones and swapping them out with the little guys I was keeping. So um, I found this really nice brush pile over here that's been absolutely awesome. Caught probably five or six off of it. And looks like there's a lot of structure underneath. Been caught up on a few sticks, but that's kind of the name of the game here kind of been tossing it out and let it kind of pendulum back to the boat. And that seems to be working. Hmm. Go figure, once I turn the camera on, they, they just shut off and quit biting. Dang it. There's a fish. See, we're catching them still. Had to move spots. Caught a few at this spot earlier. Just all along this um, bank, there's just brush piles everywhere. So it makes it pretty easy to find them. There we go. That feels like a decent one too. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. There's a nice black crappie. We might do some culling here. You lived in swim another day. You're going home with me. Sweet. I think we will end the fishing trip on that. I'm taking five with me today. Not too bad of a day out here on the water, but we gotta go cook some lunch and uh, try some nice, tasty, fresh crappies. Well, we got lunch here. We got five decent little crappies. 
and hopefully I can't butcher them too bad here. I can't tell you the last time I cleaned a fish, so. You win some and you lose some. Hopefully by the last one I've got the hang of it. But we'll give it a go here and get some crappie nuggets and make some lunch. One down, four to go. Gross. <laughs> Here's what we got going on. We're gonna be doing that with that. We're cooking outside so it don't stink up the house. So I got a pan on the burner and uh, gonna get that heating up. See if we can give another one a try. Tap down just a little bit. And we're cooking. And there we have it. We got some nice golden crispies here. Let's try one and see how it turned out. I'm not a really big fish eater, but this is pretty good. All in all, awesome day out on the water. We caught a bunch of fish, and unfortunately the camera SD card filled up, and uh, just kind of how it goes, I guess. But later on in the day, I started exploring different places on the lake, and I found some awesome places to hit the next time I go. This lake is not too far from the house. It's not as close as the one I fished yesterday, but it's within a 30 minute drive, so not too big of a deal to get over there and do some fishing, especially if there's a bunch of crappies to catch. So I will keep in mind where those brush piles are. I marked them on my GPS on my Garmin, so um, I can find those brush piles again. If you guys want this shirt or this hat, there's a link in the description. You guys can head over to the website and pick it up. If you guys are also interested in what gear I use, I have it all linked in the description. So there's links to go to Amazon and Rogers down there. So. If you're in the market for some new gear, maybe you got a kayak, you want to rig up a depth finder on it, I got all that stuff in the description down below. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that and leave this video a thumbs up for me. And follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you guys on the next one.